Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. want to let this play. I'm, I just got really mad. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Dude, every time, every fucking time. Ooh. So, I think, um, the question is, is when did I stream this last? I haven't recorded, well, I haven't put this up on YouTube. Let's see. It doesn't say. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's just double check the options. I don't think, actually, we want to turn the subtitles on. We're going for normal mode. I don't care about this. Oh my god, Dead Space. I'm gonna be uh, reminiscing about this one quite a bit uh, as we go through this masterpiece. This looks really good enough, but god, I'm so excited! The hyperdrive. I think that's what this uh, infographic is showing us. That we went into hyperdrive. Here we go. Oh, dude. Redwood Shores. Helion, en route to the Aegis system. Fucking Kendra. God damn you, Kendra! Ishimura. Such a cool name. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. Sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors reports. Okay. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Unobtainium. Oh, where is she? <laughs> there she is. We have visual contact. 
So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. This still looks fucking Why is it awesome, all dark? Man. I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. More! More! Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. Oh, phone! <laughs> what is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you're the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tether's engaged. Automatic docking procedures are go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether's damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. The field's too strong. was the um, the marker communicating with Isaac. Is everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? Look at all Isaac. Saved our he looks like an Amish dude. We had a board He's on here just to still will smash right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down. I Let's get to work. This shit. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. Alright. Let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Dude, okay, we're done. Clean we're having a little horizontal everyone. one on our neck, right? All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. Dude, this still is fucking excellent. Like, wow. Oh, see, now there's all these details I'm picking up on. Like, for instance, uh, Isaac's badge? Oh. That is really cool. I've never noticed that before. Use run to move quickly. Use run to move quickly. It sounds like, uh, chick <laughs> notes a lot. Ah, let's see here. Hold on a sec. Let's wait till we get uh, the gun first. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Gets the power's down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. Use, switch, open doors, A button. Lock, unlock. And I love how you can hear him, like, mouth breathing. Look at that! We can actually move around while our inventory is up. How convenient! Polisto. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. God, she's such a bitch. I thought the Asian chick, not the Muro, was a bitch. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. But no. No, no. She is a super bitch. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Yeah, he's like getting Look, tested with it. if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. 
Oh, that's right. We got the little... Pew. Doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. This looks excellent. The tram system's outlook, offline. Man. Getting around is gonna be difficult. Oh, this looks so good. God, I'm so excited about that space. Be flung again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody, relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. It's not Callisto credits. All right, so this is what we're doing here. Perfect. is for health bar. Okay, gotcha. Now we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried. But there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, 
If I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. Oh, we're loaded there. Okay. And I'll help you find Nicole. This is already like a fucking million times better than Callisto. And I love Callisto Protocol, but this already is just like a billion times more engaging. So let's see, we're gonna go this way. subtitles on before. So this is where we get these stasis rigs. And what I like, too, is how the audio logs play right away when you pick them up. So this is for later in the game. This is like stage 10 or something. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. Okay, so here we need to take enemies out. mess this up every time. Peace and 
And we get some more necros. Ah, dude. Isaac, you okay, did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. jumps out. Can't remember. Yeah, there we go. So you'll notice that the, um, Plasma cutter can be oriented both horizontally and vertically. So for shooting off like arms and crawling enemies, you want to go ahead and keep it vertical. And then for legs, you want to keep it horizontal. Notice how I haven't been saying much while going through this. I'm going to let this speak for itself. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. We'll talk the data board should be somewhere inside. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, everything is so dirty and loud. Like, this feels like an old ship. It kind of looks like an old ship. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. Oh, this there should part, be a key remember. somewhere in the maintenance bay. Hey, buddy, how you doing? like shuffling through another mode for it here now. It's great. The system is so good. I will say 
Anyway, though, I do like Calypso's control scheme a little better, but that's the only thing I like better. It's just, control scheme. But just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Freshly loaded, sir. Buddy, you're trying to kill me. That's not cool. That's rude. Sir, you're being rude. Could you please not be rude? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see here. We don't have any... Wow, look at that! The inventory automatically sorts itself. Holy shit! It's crazy how something from 2008 not only looks incredible still, but the fact that, like, I already feel far more comfortable and not worrying about stupid bullshit while playing. Yeah, exactly. And it's awesome, too, how nodes do not take up an inventory slot. They have their own little pocket. Love it. Data board. Use nodes to upgrade your weapons and rigs. Use nodes to upgrade your weapons. Alright. Still so cool, oh my god. So what's interesting is you don't need to upgrade every single node. You can only go the way you're supposed to. So man, this is already like engaging as fuck. Like this makes Callisto look bad. That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to command control and plot it into the computer array. That should get the transfer from back online. It's quieter all out of monologue a little here. I'm just like that this is so good. And again, this is 2008, and this is still engaging as fuck. Now you could if you look close enough, you'll see the low res textures, and you'll see you'll see all of the things that make this a byproduct of 2008. But the way it all works so well is how it ties it all in together. Now, if the lightning was all over the place and, like, it was bright everywhere and all that, like, essentially, if the atmosphere wasn't as convincing as it was, this would not have aged as well. But this is timeless. 
I don't give a fuck. Even with the new remake, I will still swear by this version. Shipwide tram system reinitialized. All trams now operational. Tram arriving at flight deck station. Quarantine lifted. All right, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from no. the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die out here. Your lack of confidence in me is to be noted, Miss Daniels. I love Hammond, But man. I have He's a mission so cool. to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without, without you. you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. He's like, he's stern, but he's not an asshole. Like, he's great. He's a great character. I love him, man. He's the, he's the messenger from 300. This is madness. That guy, that's him. But dude, everything about him is so good. Like, the lighting is excellent. The sound and the shadowing. Oh, man, the shadowing. God fucking damn, is the shadowing good. Wait a minute, did I just hear a... No, okay. Everything in this is just impossibly good. This, I'm not as excited for the remake now because I'm playing it as I speak. That's one thing, I'm so used to the Callisto Protocols button prompts. I always like to do everything from the inventory. Damn, dude, all the blood. We made it to the bridge. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. We're going to try to get to the command computer. Wish us luck. Sloppy, I apologize. I'm really sorry, that was sloppy. The Peng statue is right there, but we can only have the, uh, let's see, stasis. Kinesis. We can only have Kinesis. Essentially, grip. Ooh, a small mid -pack. Those I ride home. It's the only way off the ship. 
Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Yeah, duh. Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? I mean, How? are we that surprised, people? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? <laughs> oh. You see, what's cool about the way item placement is here is it's not all in loot boxes. Like, you'll just find shit thrown about. That in places that make sense, and there are a few containers here and there. There are a few crates that are here and there. But it's all tangible. Unlike the Callisto Protocol, where everything's in a fucking crate. Anyway, God, this looks so good. Yeah, this looks excellent. Ah, yes! Yes, 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 finally. Our damage is off the damn. Mm, let me go for a two for. no longer a problem throughout the entire game. And look at this! We could move! We could move while we are in our inventory. How about that? I tell you! It's crazy! Man, the OG Dead Space. God, I've played this so many times. It's such a delight every time that I do. It's great. 
We're gonna blast through this within at least like three days. And it's awesome because the ship is separated into its segments in a very clever way. And the tram system is used to go in between them. It's very cool stuff. It's also smart. It's still very smart. Shh, it's alright, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this. Yeah, we didn't need to worry about that. I'm so used to six slots. Now we got like 50, 25. 25, 10, 50. Yeah, dude. I mean, we, and I love how they kind of stick up. Hi there. Are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. You have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static.
wonder if they're gonna have like auto lane for uh, the new deck space. So this we get in later. Oh, the airlock. Vacuum. The use of audio in this is so fucking awesome. As you know, Yushimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. I'm not a fan of Zero D's uh, rooms in this game. Great. Two did it much better. Pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Entering Zero Gravity. So the reason I came back in is because we want these Xbox. That's one thing I really love about Dead Space is everybody on this ship is fucking rich. Seriously! Everybody drops mad credits. And it's not Dead Space credits. It's just zero gravity. Credits. That makes sense. Yep. Like clockwork. So this is kind of like tutorial phase, like everything is relatively easier. Whoa. Way 
can tell when they're dead is they collapse. Like they literally just fall apart like a uh, a marionette. I do kind of miss the fact that, uh... Oh, thermite bomb. Okay, so we gotta go in there. I do miss all of the duct crawling. That's one thing that was pretty cool in Close Purple. There's just like handgun ammo over there. I, I I would imagine that explains all the disarray on the ship. Like there's ammo thrown everywhere because the ship went nuts and people were fighting to survive. That's actually kind of cool. Hard mode, I probably would have died. But this is why we're playing on normal mode. So I could still be kind of challenged. I mean, I'm very familiar with it. But there's some instances that I will never constantly remember. Because if you want to be that good at Dead Space, you have to play this constantly. And there are a lot of tricks that you can utilize to keep yourself alive. And also, 
deal with enemies in a much more strategic way. So that there, I just let enemies gang up on me. Otherwise, I mean, we have near max damage on this thing. Uh, we're not going to have to worry about much else at all. convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extra. It was about miners in this visceral game, man. Even as the believer Fuck. within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. This is fucking awesome, by the way. This is totally scripted. Come on! Come on! Let me out! remember to feed. I would not want to feed these things. I'm sorry. Like, look at this, this guy. And you gotta feed him? Fuck that. Damn, dude. These are like, uh, oh, this is really freaky. These are babies, man. Babies. Alright, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Monthly. I can't make out that it's. Sixty-five rounds. That is fucking beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. 
No, oh, I can't do this because my inventory space. Nothing! Sorry, we are full. Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell. I'm wondering if all of Nicole's, like all the animations, I believe, are done by hand with a little bit of mocap, but like all the facial Look, animations. What's happening? All that, I'm fairly certain they were done These with. These wounds. Uh, we are not equipped to deal with this. They were done by hand. Get him to the table. Hold him. Not you. Hold him down. See, look, we can grab soda cans and shoot them. Wow. Cool, right? Why? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. pick up aren't necessarily random but where we find them are so let's just say there are five spots that uh items can appear uh there will be either two or three said areas for those items to come in. so for instance you'll notice there's a lot of variety in lockers like lockers will always contain the same thing but the, the lockers they are found in is randomized as opposed to the completely random <coughs> Um, item acquisition in Callisto Protocol, which makes uh, kind of no sense. Again, man, thinking about it's getting me angry. Well, not really angry, but thinking about it, it's like, oh, God. As opposed to just thinking about Dead Space, you know, like, so much better. And I also love how there is backtracking done in this, but in a very clever way. It's not like the drive or anything like that. Anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody is gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come from me. I can hear everything in the world. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. Your parents, the sister from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn, dude, this is, oh, this is creepy. I mean, the story is essentially the same as Callisto Protocol. I have to say the story of Callisto Protocol is the same. It's Dead Space. It's an infection that runs crazy, and it gets the better of everybody. But with, with Dead Space here, it's told in a far superior way. I mean, when you break them down, they're both really the same story. You're just caught up in it. But again, with the way Dead Space handles it, it annihilates Callisto. And I said time and time again, Time and time again, the Callisto Protocol was really good. Oh, yeah. I want to see something. I think I forgot a text log over there, huh? Log Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Okay. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. I guess he injects his livelihood into them and makes them stronger. Dude, holy shit. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. So really, like, in, in all, with all intents and purposes, look at the story to Dead Space and Callisto Protocol are, are more or less the same. Uh, you're roped into essentially an infection, and you need to figure out how to survive. Now, with the Callisto Protocol, the story is very tangible. It's very good, but its applications are basic, meaning it's like, it's not multi tiered. It's literally just beginning to end but what makes dead space so interesting is isaac is an engineer he's not uh a combatant or a security guard or anything he is an engineer and all the tools he picks up are engineer tools a plasma cutter it's not a pistol it, it's a it, you cut things with plasma with it. uh all of the weapons in this game are engineer tools that's interesting number two isaac is related to one of the main characters in the thick of it. Number three, we have the story on the Ishimura, but number four, and more importantly, is all of the backstory. There's a lot of like lore building here. And it's just, again, the story is the same, but what's most notable is the multifaceted layered approach that Dead Space takes. 
And that's why, overall, it's a better story. It's a better story due to the way it's constructed. And somewhat, it, well, actually, the way it's told is much better, too. So, um, this, there's more going on here, as opposed to uh, Phyllis Protocol. Just an observation I want to make. And dude, the fucking whispers and shit. Oh my god, I gotta turn it down. <laughs> we're so fucking stuck. Oh, we're back here again. That's right. Yeah. And the Ishimura, what I like about it is it's segmented. So in Callisto Protocol, it's one giant play space that you go through in a predetermined linear fashion. That's cool, but it's nice to have like more of a gamified, like relatable structure. So we are still going through a massive, like rather large ship, but it's all segmented. So stage one is the loading dock. Stage two is med bay. It's done in a very cool way. That doesn't feel overwhelming, like you could do this in bite-sized sessions. So for instance, you'll notice I'm not doing any saving outside of uh, end stage save points. There are save points everywhere. But I've gotten so used to this, I just do uh, I do a save at the end of the game. Uh, Callisto Protocol has the same thing, but you're, it's not segmented. It's massive. This is massive, but it's segmented. So like you could relate to that in like Super Mario Bros. World 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, one, three. 2 1 2 2 2 3 etc. Super Mario World with its hub, but segmented stages. So they both do the same thing, but this is a little smarter in how it does it. <laughs> uh, I love how it's already starting to introduce us to uh, bigger, badder and necromorphs. Necronorths. Oh man, it's shadowing a little of all of Somehow, one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Ooh. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. One thing I will complain about, and this is a nitpick rather than a complaint, watching the face, is you're an errand boy. Isaac, go here. Isaac, 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 Isaac. It's like, dude, okay, I get it. Come on. gonna run back here real quick i need to upgrade the uh the plasma cutter here and then we're gonna start upgrading the our health bar and then we'll do oxygen last because we have plenty of oxygen canisters It's already up. That's great. Oh, that's the door coming through the wall. That's interesting.
course we're gonna save. So we're going from science to engines. So cool. It's crazy how good this game still looks, man. Holy. You've got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. the centrifuge is offline. We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. <laughs> we never have to worry about ammo again. <laughs> Love it! Yes, give it to me. Contamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience.
entering zero gravity. I always hated this part. That's right, and then we gotta go down. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this. Centrifuge activated. Centrifuge gyros are both 100% yeah, and stabilized. Now way. get out of there and focus on the engine. I don't know how much time we have left.
I remember uh, in the second Dead Space, we actually returned to the Ishimura. And it's pretty fucking frightening. Dead Space 2 is so good. killing the crew. That's all we're doing. We're murdering the entire crew. Which is really fucked up. It's kind of like, um, Callisto Protocol. We're shooting all the inmates, right? Same difference. We're shooting something that already existed. in this. Holy fuck. Well, you know, in all these necromorphs uh, and all the shit they give off, you gotta stay clean, man. That's so Mischief may have necromorphs. So Yeah, the shadowing, I would say, is like direct shadow, is the thing that's not able to best. A little rough, but hey man, 2008, give him a little slack, would you?
I hear you. Oh, we came back here before we were supposed to. That's awesome. Apologies for that bad display. Half of my health just got attacked. lines to the primary engine and damage the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand who would do this. It's one of those crazy scientologist bastards. I'll break their neck. They said they were coming. We never should have let them live. Shut up, Danvers. Help me with the tools. Temple out. <laughs> Dude, this is the elite. This is the uh, scorpion suit, by the way. Um, and I just use a plasma cutter. That I the only thing I do is I put in like the twenty seven hundred, no twenty seven thousand dollars you could get. There's like three money cheats and like uh, seven nodes, and that's it. Uh, the elite suit is awesome, as well as the scorpion suit because it gives you full um, inventory capacity right off the bat, so you don't have to worry about waiting for the game to help you upgrade your shit. But dude, I mean, don't get me wrong, I seriously enjoy Callisto Protocol. But there's just something so fucking good about this game. And I am going to be streaming the remake, kind of like, begrudgingly. But still, this one will always be special. Sequence activated. Sufficient fuel to fire this still holds up incredibly well, by the way. What you did is working, Isaac. 
I have a fuel reading. It's only a quarter full, so that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. Oh, I'm, I'm not doubting it, but, like, they added all this dialogue for Isaac, and I'm like, ah, oh, no, the way it originally was is Isaac started talking more in the second game. That's a personal nitpick. Um, but... Long. We'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll reserve our opinion. Can you hear me? For when we get it's our Kendra. hands on it. They attacked me. I I'm ran for it and Hammond dude, just... Either way, we can always come back to this one. He just and disappeared. I probably will end up here. Where are you? Nice to see you're alive and well, Hammond. I barricaded myself Kendra. in the computer core. I can hear them moving outside, but I don't think they know I'm in here. Oh, and look! Look, look, look! We can move while I we're in our inventory! And some reports from the How colony. about that? Even before they cracked the planet, the colonists were experiencing widespread dementia. It seems to be related to some artifact they found on the planet. Something called the Marker. I'll keep looking. I've got your location, and I'm going to unlock the door to fuel storage. You can get to the engine chamber from there. It's the subtleties, man. Like, he's always... Isaac is always fixed on what's going around him. So when you turn... He actually moves his head looking around. Uh, when there's a comm link going on, he stares at it. And one of my favorite touches is his head. He's looking at each individual inventory slot. That is awesome. You know what? Hold on a second here. Just give me a sec. Uh, I'm going to do this. Hold on. All right. One thing that I'm still super proud of is the fact that I have this. The Isaac Clark NECA action figure. How fucking cool is this? How cool is that? This thing is incredible, man. Like, this thing is truly incredible. Like, I, always, I have had this figure out for years. I'm going to actually sit him like this. Yeah, this is so cool. This is essentially, yeah, so there's, yep, one, two, three, four, yep, one, because, dude, this is fucking accurate as shit, oh my god, interesting, oh, that's so cool. Let's keep buying ammo, because, you know, we need it. Shit, we still have to... Oh, thank God I checked.
Yeah, I was like, I just wanted to check I went in the right door. Just see, yeah, I just say. Started by myself, and with all the other shit going on, it's obvious this is sabotage. I'm heading for the bridge, and then I need to find Elizabeth. Sabotage! Oh my god, it's safe. sabotage! Oh my god, it's sabotage! <laughs> the Beastie Boys were here, bro. They sabotaged the ship. Did you stop that? What? They sabotaged it, dude. I'm telling you. But every time it's sabotage, it's always Beastie Boys. How do you know that? And then in the end, it really is Beastie Dude, oh my god. Dude, I've seen uh, everything except for like the most recent season and it's really good. Like, the writing is off the rocker. But it's done in such a good way. Like, it, it's pretty incredible how consistent the writing is. But I haven't seen it. Remy and I love watching it. Oh. I'm telling you, Mr. Meeseeks, man, that's the best episode in the entire series. I do have this on PC. I got it for, like, dirt cheap off the good old games, and I also have it emulatable, thanks to PS3 emulation. And it looks really good. But High on Life, it's on Game Pass. I thought you said you were High on Life. I'm like, okay. That's a little random to say, but I'm glad you're happy. Oh, the game! Okay, never mind. Oh, that's right! Sometimes it can be those little critters. Yeah, I don't do Game Pass. I I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's awesome for what it offers. Uh, all, my all my bros think I'm nuts, but yeah, I don't know. those things. There is always a lot of good shit in these, uh, these no -dos. Like, yeah, fuck, exactly. Who needs social life? We have this, right? We're socializing this way. That's all you need, man. It's like Death Stranding, for fuck's sake. Fuck social life. Who needs it? I'm with you on that, especially with the way things are today. But, like, that's a side effect of having everything at our disposal is it's easy to get overwhelmed. 
Like, it, it happens all the time when you're uh, watching Netflix, right? Like, you'll uh, you'll just start, like, content searching, or you'll just keep scrolling through all the menus, and you won't watch anything, and the next thing you know, 45 minutes have gone. I like something that's personally curated by me, not by an algorithm. You know what I mean? But again, that's just my opinion. And if that is your thing, then by all means, man, enjoy it. But I just, I don't, I don't like it at all. And in fact, with Game Pass is like, you pay for the service, not for the game. And yes, you, you do get the game at a discount. But it's like, most times you won't even have to buy it because it's on the service. But what happens if the service goes away and you don't buy it? And then you're like, oh, they don't have a game anymore. Why didn't you buy it? Oh, well, Game Pass. It's a very strange uh, back and forth you can find people getting into. You gotta do what you gotta do. I totally understand. There's nothing wrong with that, man. You're just making it work. And that's awesome. At least you're not like, man, I bought all these games and I'm broke. Fuck. It's like, nah, you're playing it smart. That's good. Most people don't do that. Most people are like, shit, I have all these subscriptions, but I can't afford this. Fuck, I'm screwed. Take only what you need to survive. It's my industrial sized hair dryer, and I can't live without it! Fine, princess, you want? You can it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm an engineer, and I stack shit all day. Ooh, last one. stopping right there. I know it's a crate, whatever, but it looks like an Xbox console from, like, back in the day. Oh, it's a good problem to have. Let's see, my inventory's full. Hmm. Dude, look at this. Like, seriously, fucking look at this. This is crazy. And look, it's sorted! Isaac is like, yes, yes it is. It's sorted. It's nice and neat. As opposed to Callisto Protocol. I'm ragging on Callisto Protocol. I really enjoyed it. But, dude, when you go back to this, like, it, re it really reminds you of just, like, how stupid some design choices are in Callisto. It's a shame, because it's so good. Good. I just, I have, uh, hold on a sec here, I'll show you. And the two achievements that are left over. Oh, look at that! Your seventh, your second place. Awesome! But, uh, let's see here. Uh, dude, 900 out of 1,000 points. I mean, beat the game in maximum security, harvest all implant bios, perfect dodge five times, defeat the game in any difficulty. It's all just accumulative stuff. There's just the, uh, you have to discover two hidden rooms for this one, and then I don't know what the grip and melee combo is, but I got all 900 achievement points within one day and six hours. Atomic Hearts. Oh, that sounds good. Cool. Why does that sound familiar? I know it's even because I just can't. It's not coming. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know what? I'm 
know, I'm gonna look this up. What is Atomic Heart? Hmm. It's a heart to Totamic. Ooh, upcoming FPS role-playing game with Black Fish and Damn it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I'm thinking of something. You sent me the video for that one where, like, you jump through multiple dimensions and it's a first-person shooter on PC only. That looks really cool. Engines firing. Nightingale, that's it. That looks cool, I will say. It's working. We're online and functional. Ooh, and there's that one Finally, that uh, some good news. Vera's been talking about. Get a transfer bridge, uh, Isaac. Judas, I'm going to take it cool. back into I'm a station. Wait, 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 we're not safe yet. Ship's asteroid defense system is offline. I'm going to reply to him On the way up, the ship's going to pass through a debris field thrown up from the planet crack. We'll be ripped to pieces unless you restart it. God damn it. I'll start working on it from here. Isaac, meet me at the bridge. You can do more good here than I can. Ooh, the bridge, I don't remember this part. Isaac. Isaac. Where are you? It's me. Nicole. Make us all again, Isaac! Oh my god. Large. Actually. <laughs> Once you figure things out, like this is ridiculously easy. So let's see here. Uh. No, tell yeah, baby. It's surprising how good this looks, dude. Like, this still looks fucking excellent. Course correction completed. Yes. Obliteration imminence. Ooh. This figure is so fucking a little dusty, but that's cool. I like it that way. Isaac, come in. Kendra's right. The ADS is completely shot. I'll need your help to fix this. Kendra, if you can hear me, see if you can get to the ship's reports. It sounds like you have better access from there. When were you going to tell us about the artifact, Hammond? This marker. I Kendra, don't know anything you really about need that. to watch them. It's referenced in the captain's records. They brought it up from the planet. It's on the ship? In cargo. They think it's of alien origin, but I don't know what the hell it is. Really? Dude, this looks See, so good. See, you didn't know oh anything about it. Oh my god, this it. looks so good. You're lying. Back off! I am not the bad guy here. We're all shaky right now. You're gonna have to trust that I don't know anything about it. <laughs> We've entered the debris field. Get to the captain's nest. I'll explain everything later. Hammond out. Welcome to the Ichimoto Park. You know, Hammond, that's the park tonight. Come on, work with me here. So if you're not careful, technically you can get attacked. While well, you are in the store. That's a lot of crap we just picked up. Oh, 
always like to keep at least two of each, uh, uh, two of each item on me, like health, stasis, oxygen, just in case, you know. Alright, so blah, 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 Hammond, blah, 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 Isaac. Damn, you scared me. The place is making me jumpy. Fucking asteroids coming through the roof. Look, I know Kendra doesn't trust me, but I don't know anything about a marker or anything else. This is supposed to be a repair mission. Plain and simple. Repair yeah! this mess is the asteroid defense system. I can fix these boards, and the main power routing is shot. You're going to have to reroute them manually through at least three junction boxes to activate the primary cannon. 125, oh, but first, you need to activate the atrium elevators from bridge security. You can yeah, use them good. to get to the junction boxes. By the way, Isaac, be careful. I saw something out there. I don't know what. I only got a glimpse. But it was big. Really big. like, hey man, you need to shoot him in the back. Nope, if you pay close attention, there are breaks in his armor. So he has his arms, and then he has his body, and you could shoot right in between them. So it's like this. He could shoot right in between, and he is dead. Get him over there! Yeah! Make us whole again. Oh shit. Yo, dude, it's your favorite line. Just go for like six and you're all set. Just 
There was like a field of view slider or something like that for the new one. That'd be nice. Tried for mutiny. Kind. Make them listen to reason. Settle down, then. Hold him. By maritime law, Article 5469, I hereby declare Captain Benjamin Mathias unfit for duty. The marker must be delivered to the church. Terence, please. I'm sorry, Ben, but I can't let you do this. Traitor. Heretic! Hold his head. Murderer! Hold him! Damn, dude! He's dead. Well, yeah! No, it was an accident. I, I had to stop him. Arrest the doctor. Yeah, I stabbed him in the face. He's healed the fire. Gravity plating is malfunctioning. Keep an eye out for any kind of distortion effect. Oh coming god, from the I floor. hate this part. It could be dangerous.
Dead Space, you're so scary. Rerouted. I'm making some progress with the tracking grid. One of the cannons is giving me a hard time. That's me. That's I'm moving. You. Stompy, stompy, motherfuckers. Dude, just all you need is a plasma cutter, man. That's it. I that's all I ever use. I think I maybe have tried each weapon like twice ever since this game first came out. This this is all you need right here. It's kind of cool in a way. I, I love just playing with the plasma cutter. It's incredible. Callisto Protocol, dude, same exact thing. All you need is the pistol. It's the hand can It's really a fucking pistol. It's not a fucking hand can. It's a security pistol. Anyway, all you need is a security pistol. Just upgrade the whole thing. And the only nodes you need to upgrade for the melee stick, as I call it, is the damage dealing ones. That is it. Uh, because it gives you the heavy attack on the first node, and then it increases the overall damage on the second and third. And that is it. Grip, I got everything to uh, just before the last note. All three of them. Uh, that's it. That's all you need. And that's on hard mode. Dude, watch uh, once you beat it, like, go back and watch, like, the last hard mode day. I literally killed the last boss without taking any damage. On the first truck. Well, on hard mode. I mean, I already played it, but... It's kind of crazy. But Dead Space, all the way to Purus with the Plasma Cutter. Always. I feel I'd be wasting my time if, uh... I honestly, I'd be wasting my time if, uh, I was using anything else. That's exactly how I feel. No, we're not selling it. Does everyone have a left? What's up, Quick Dex? How you 
you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. We had to come back to uh, the Ishimura, dude. Like, absolutely fucking literally had to. It's such a good fucking game. I keep doing that. Ooh, there's a node here. Nice. It's crazy how good this still looks, dude. This is dude, this is 14 years old. And it still looks as good. And here we go. So, three, two, That's it. There's actually a glitch you can do for Dead Space 2. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. It boils down to you need to go to a particular bench. And you could, like, uh, I wouldn't say flex the system. Gotta go down. Okay. Where you can ascend, you take advantage of an X play where you get unlimited notes. I've gone over the med side reports. These things are bio recombinators. They take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others, well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Brain behind the muscle. Mine will be missing. Waste time here on the bench because we can stay in the bench. Oh, ah, well, never mind. All right. Only have one tonight. Okay. I don't want to do it. It's a good resetter for you, though. We're just annihilating all that stand in our way. And once again, everybody on this ship is crazy rich. Now we walk on these, it's instant death. to the ADS. Control system suction box rerouted. I'm getting a reading. Almost there. It's not like we have to worry about, like, ammo. <laughs> oh, 
Always keep at least two nodes on you at all times. Because that way you could uh, open up these extra like loot caches or loot rooms, whatever you want to call them. And they're always loaded with a lot of cash and usually a, an upgrade of sorts. Security phone? Cool. I can't use it though. I wish I could. Yes. See, the only thing I think that has not aged well are the shadows. That's really the only thing. Like the lighting in the shadows, like the rest you could work with. It's it's all very well done, but those self shadows, those those like shadows drawn by Isaac, they're a little rough now, 14 years later. But I mean, if that's the one thing I'm complaining about, I think Dead Space has done a pretty good job overall throughout all these. I love this game. It's like permanently installed on my Series X. It's never going anywhere. Thank God for backwards compatibility, man. Seriously. Figure here, keep us company. It's awesome. Deal with them in a very particular way. Oh, duh. It's so pretty!
Isaac, you're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you'll get torn to pieces. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Warning. Multiple impacts detected across the starboard hull. Just have to wait for that effect to go away. To those like sparks, more or less.
That's why we have air packs up. Just saying. Setting zero gravity. Setting vacuum. Wait. Isaac Hammond. You're not gonna believe this. I don't believe it! Oxygen levels are falling. Something's what? poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. We're not going to have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. All this never ends. Ah, look at my inventory. Get to medical and mix together whatever Kendra's come up with. I'm heading to hydroponics. If I can slow it down, that might Hope keep us breathing long enough to fight it. Hope that hydroponics works for me. It's great. I'm heading for hydroponics to find Elizabeth. Easy, Elizabeth. Easy, Elizabeth. Where are you at? Yeah, dude. Like this is an example of just like what this game was like when it first came out. 720p. Some things are obviously dated, but the rest—it's crazy how good this still holds up. Kind of ridiculous, man. Seriously. Just, this, we're, this game does not stand a chance anymore. Chapter 4, complete. Complete! Yes. Family save at the end of each chapter, by the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster mm. than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off the ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. It's so cool how we can rotate the map around, dude. That is fucking awesome. Oh, I thought that was a stand in the way of God's plan. All right, this sounds like Psycho Madness. I'm sorry. The natural. Duck Stone. Are you, are you blind? Left to rest. Well, I can't touch my own mind! Program the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. Fucking Sandra, shut, bitch. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about the fact that we like, use them as pinatas. Now, one thing I do hope they include in the remake is a quick turn. That would be cool. Because I'm, I'm hope I like I keep on wanting to do it, and I can't. A quick turn would be nice. That's the only thing I can think of. Because this game is perfect otherwise. And just like a few like subtle like mounting things, like we can't go up the corner of a step, like tiny things like that. kill you if you get close to them. I never do that. You're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. Yo, 
Isaac, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Fast and shit. What are you doing? Your fight for survival is admirable, but pointless. Uh, and yet this you keep on going. So oh my god, this is so almost makes me good. think that we have hope as a species. Am I the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop fighting. Stop your struggle. Our future. Your future. The future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us. Our greatest creation. The most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis in the world. <laughs> Severely fucked me up there. That's the first large med pack I've used.
keep shutting down the door protocol. I bypass the lock. Go! <laughs> I've never noticed that before. sink in for a second. Yeah, that's that space for you. This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Warning. Life support system failure on medical. What the hell was that? Please evacuate immediately. Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented into space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. You got what you want, Kohagen? Give these people their air! Oh, I'm sorry, Isaac! I didn't mean to get your name wrong! <laughs> Did you get your ass from Mars? Yeah, I do not want to be stuck by those things. So we have unlimited oxygen here. They're kind of like the flood from Halo, if you think about it. You gotta have them all bunched up. And when one explodes, like, they kind of form a chain reaction. So we have two minutes of air. Go ahead, again. Give me more air. It's a maximum. It's two minutes. 
سمعت تعالي تعالي ما اعرف شو واحد ثاني بقى عم بضيع I love how everything is drowned out when there's no air. It's how it should be. Also, they're kind of easy to tell where they are because they keep moving all of the uh, corpses around, which is a nice little touch because if there's a bunch after you, oh shit, you can tell where they are. Pretty cool. Thank God for that extra fucking air, dude. Seriously. Hey, hey, hey. Don't appreciate that. It's done in a very good way, and whenever you do backtrack, it's different. Like the area changes. A little bit. That kind of made me. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. Alright, so let's set up the stasis. Kinesis, we don't need it, it's just rain. Excellent. But one thing that always fascinates me about this game is how everything feels tangible and like grounded in reality. Like, this is something. You could see people use it. Like the benches, uh, all of the weapons. Like it's, again, it's tangible and it makes sense. And that is awesome. Processing request. Processing request. Payload ready. Stop ever. 
That's the last we see of that thing. thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, Stop and it. you can take ah. it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. Oh, baby, I got the time. Have you got the energy? And besides, we're gonna have plenty of time until the story completes itself. So there. looks at the inventory is so cool. This is incredible, man. Like, seriously, this is fun. There's always pang! What the fuck is pang, anyway? Yeah, so like here, we can't run up that. We have to go straight. Like in the remake, I'm sure they'll fix that. Dude, we already beat chapter five? Holy fuck! I am flying through this! I thought it was chapter four! Yes. Hydroponics works for me, man. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close to maximum capacity at the present time. All flora is healthy and thriving and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony. But the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there, and I don't see what denying them our surplus will achieve. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of people here.
fucking hate those things, dude. And they came out of the toilet. They came out of vats. That is nasty. Oh. Ugh. So I believe the inventory prioritizes health, air, stasis, ammo, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is awesome because way it should be. Watering cycle initiated. Tomatoes. Ishimura Farms tomatoes. That's so cool. on this deck. I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. They're like poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Hammond! I thought you were dead. You need to get to cleaner air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right, there's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good I don't scan. Know what this is. Okay. Monitor readings are off the scale. Pumpkin. Be careful. Watermelon. Cool, I forgot about this. I love how the door says stand by. It's waiting for this cutscene to finish. And now we can go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the door to food storage. But I can't override the integrity lockdown. You have to destroy the pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on the Leviathan. Okay, so we're gonna go that way first. I just wanna sell all the shit. This is gonna be the last chapter today, by the way. I should be glad that Ham's alive, but I still don't trust him. I think he's hiding something about the marker. Oh, it's a text log. I thought there was an audio log. Whoops. So this is one that we have to complete the whole thing. Cool. I wonder what uh, duration means. Is that like milliseconds? I could never figure that out. 
I never looked it up, actually. I should know that. With the amount I played this game. This is why we always hold on to two power nodes. So like, what's stopping us from like, putting it in the door, and then once the door is open, we take it back out? So like, what's up with that? Hmm? One twenty, uh, one thirty-six plus what's in the chamber, nice. Vegetative anomalies detected in the East Grove Chamber. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Oh, everybody! I did ah, I fucked up. It's funny because we're going for the secondary objective first, and the game is like, no, you need to go this way. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. 
It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like. But it was big and heavy. I'll report again when I know more. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was awesome. Now we're in the lasagna corridor again. This is Temple, acting chief engineer. I came down here to find Dr. Elizabeth Cross, but she's not here. In fact, I can't find anyone. Just more of this organic Jeez, shit everywhere. Energy. I'm going to check the mining deck. It's about the only place I haven't looked yet. I remember being mortified of this. On hard difficulty, because once you die, that's it. Or hardcore, I should say. Yeah. Makes life a lot easier. Thank God. I forgot about that actually. Exiting zero gravity. You figure they would. Cool. Love it. I'm glad 
I went up. I was thinking I needed to go up uh, elsewhere or otherwise. Max load. Two kilo okay. Two thousand five hundred kilos. Thank God for this nav system, man. I mean, Dead Space is a great game. I know all the basics and everything like that. But there's just a few things that you forget about. Diodes on this are reactive. You'll see the, they'll be correct on which surface they're targeting. Did you single file any better?
their that sack looks like a brain. Seriously, that's nasty. Replacing nutrient rate. They do really good use of bitmaps in this. That's what a majority of the atmospheric effects are made of, bitmaps. We notice when you turn and face the fog, it's always facing you. But that's like the oldest trick in the book. science provide bounty. That's definitely plentiful and bountiful. Do the enemy design still hold up? Exiting zero gravity.
No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Enjoy your view! Love it. Warning. Ten kiloton mass detected in food storage. go back up because we forgot something. Damn it. So we went west. Thankfully I was paying attention.
you can get into food storage. Isaac, I've been reading these reports. The crew all began having mass hallucinations. And... Well, I just saw my brother. On a security monitor. And that's just not possible. Alright, so we go up to three, we go back down to one, we beat the boss, we save it, and call it a day. That's why we come up. This suit is so cool, and it did such a good job of sculpting it. It's crazy. Make us whole again, Isaac. Make a hole again. So before we do this, we're going to go and uh, upgrade a couple of things. So yeah, we got plenty of ammo. Is it here? Oh, first one. Sorry. Whoops. That's it! That's everything! I should just fill these in just because. Alright, I'm gonna do this real quick. I am just going to leave the pause screen on here. I'm gonna use a little boy journal.
Okay, better to do it that way than otherwise. So there's 12 chapters. I've essentially gone through half of it, half of Dead Space here, in just under four hours. That's kind of fucking crazy. Flushing all air vents. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Can never be too sure. This is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Unknown antigen injected into the filtration system. Levels are returning to normal. Damn it! He's gone again. No sign of his rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off this ship. I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. Oh god. I don't know how much longer the door will hold. Clever. 
get to work. It's, it might say that it's three hours and 43 minutes, eight seconds counting. We're already halfway through this. This is pretty good, I will say. Forty-six eighteen. So once this loads, I just want to see something. Forty-six eighteen. Okay, so let's see here. Ah, okay. Okay, I see here. I see. Okay. Okay, so actually, hold on a sec now. Wait, 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 wait. I've never noticed that. That's where the tram system brings us. Interesting. How about that? Guys, that is it for today. I think we made some really good progress in Dead Space. Chapter 7 tomorrow. We're probably going to beat it tomorrow. I don't know. Eat your heart up, Callista Protocol. I love you, man, but... Sorry, Dead Space is still better. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.